I normally wouldn't be making a video about this, but this has to be talked about. OU men's baseball against Baylor tonight. A phenomenon happened. Something rare. Something you well, probably won't see again in your lifetime. Before I get into that, let's get to the show, shall we? Well, welcome to this episode of Sooner Legends Podcast. I'm your host, Mike the Legend. And if you don't mind, if you're new to the channel, hop down yonder and hit that red subscriber button. Turn on your post notification bells. That way you won't miss any OU content that I will be uploading. Give me a thumbs up on that like button. Jump down in the comments. It helps push through algorithm of youtube and it helps small content creators such as myself so I, as i stated at the front of the video first of the video there was a phenomenon that happened in the ou men's baseball game tonight something that i have never witnessed i'm sure it's happened and i just ha i just never was watching the game or but in the bottom of the fourth inning, with uh, OU up nine to seven, OU comes to the plate and pulls off an inside the park home grand slam home run, and it took it up to thirteen to seven. That is something I have never seen in my life. I've seen grand slams. They, they went yard, but an inside the park? That was just, that just totally floored me. I mean, what are the chances of that happening? The dude who nailed that, who hit that ball. I wasn't paying attention to the names. I was set, sitting there wa just watching and all. I, he needs to go out and buy him a lottery ticket tonight. I mean, because that was like a one in a million shot doing that. You probably have a better chance of getting hit by lightning. But I digress. I have never in my life witness something like that and like i said it's probably happened at some point but i just maybe wasn't watching the game or i was off fishing or hunting or who knows what all but it's something i've never and i got to see it and i was like he didn't just do it i was so taken by that like I said, I can't tell you the name of the players who was involved. I'm still in shock and awe. Y'all can hop down in the comments and tell me who the players involved, especially the dude swatting the ball. Good God. Boy, he got some air under. And I'm just sitting here with my jaw down to the floor. I'm. How? <laughs> I mean, it's weird. But stuff like that happens in sports. I just thought I'd share this with y'all. Y'all y'all seen it if y'all follow baseball. It's I like I said, it's something I've never seen. And OU uh went on to win. Uh just a minute, I got the score right here. I want to thank Steve B and Coop. They they don't know this, but they gave me information because I was going to cut a video about the inside the park Grand Slam home run, and after reading their comments on Discord, I got me some information. Thank you guys. 
Eric or Goop and Steve B. But the final score was nineteen to seven. OU over Baylor. Now I I was on Twitter. They said we won the big the Big Twelve championship, but right now we just got a share of it. We have to win one more game or Oklahoma State loses. And we will win it outright. But we've at least won a share of the Big 12 championship. All because of an inside the park Grand Slam home run. That that just slapped my ass and called me shorty. I've never seen that that in my life. Have you ever noticed that when it comes to OU, when it like that inside the park home grand slammer, that we are always there's some there's some kind of sooner magic, whether it being a football team, the baseball team. There's just always something that that is a phenomenon. And like I said, this this is one that I ain't hell. I I grew up. I watched Sooner Magic Born, but I've never seen this, this inside the park Grand Slam homer. That now officially takes second place to my all time favorite play. My all time favorite play will always be the hook and lateral against Nebraska in '76. But this this right here. Number two, got to be, just because it's a phenomenon and something rare that you don't ever see. So congratulations, guys. You at least got a share of the Big 12 championship. Shout out to the ladies tonight. They brought the Big 12 conference uh, trophy home. They beat Texas 5-1. to one. Jada Coleman being Jada. Her gold, her glove is made out of gold, and it, it, it's got a radar wherever that ball goes. She, she rock. Well, she, she loves robbing people. I love it. But shout out to the girls for, for, uh, for winning the Big Twelve championship in softball and bringing it, bringing it to Norman. Or the, that makes nine of them that the ladies has won. Well, guys, I'm recording this late. It's about eleven forty. As y'all can probably tell, I'm feeling better. The penicillin has finally taken effect. The abscess and the swelling has went down. I'm not in dire pain. Uh, I'm going to make me an appointment next week and get the tooth pulled once I finish this round of an antibiotics. But the legend is, you ain't going to keep me down. You ain't going to shut me up. <laughs> so y'all have a great day. Y'all have a better tomorrow. Boomer sooner. We'll see you on the backside. God bless.